One of the most common questions I get asked is, what is informatics? So let's talk about it. Before I dive into the definitions, let me first say there isn't a clear agreement by all parties as there is a lot of overlap between the different areas in informatics. But I'll share my perspective on this, drawing primarily from the 2012 white paper from AMIA. Let's start with the basic definition of what is biomedical informatics. Per AMIA, it is the interdisciplinary field that studies and pursues the effective uses of biomedical data, information, and knowledge for scientific inquiry, problem solving, and decision making, driven by efforts to improve human health. It's also widely accepted as the umbrella term over the other informatics disciplines. Now from there, we can start to break down each of the informatics disciplines into bioinformatics, structural imaging informatics, clinical informatics, and public health informatics. Personally, it's easier to remember when you think about its area of application and practice from left to right, where they span from molecular and cellular processes to individuals and finally to populations and society. Bioinformatics deals with how information is represented and analyzed in biological systems, while clinical informatics is more about information management and the delivery of healthcare. The former includes applications like genomics, while the latter includes applications like electronic health record build. Clinical informatics can also be further split into pharmacy, medical, nursing, and dental informatics. Imaging informatics is a bit self-explanatory and usually involves, well, images like in radiology. Public health informatics is the application of information science, computer science, and technology to public health practice, research, and learning. Now, whereas clinical informatics is more focused on an individual, public health informatics is more focused on a community and typically involves the government. So think about things like immunization registries or infection surveillance systems like ones for COVID-19. Population health informatics expands upon that by including social determinants of health, which include both clinical and non-clinical data sources as the health of a population is dictated by more than traditional healthcare delivered in a hospital or clinic. Now, as we define each of these disciplines, we can also begin to group them to form new ones. For example, both health informatics and consumer health informatics include clinical and public health informatics, and population health informatics is sometimes used to more broadly capture the essence of both public health and global health informatics. Then there is clinical informatics science, which includes both translational bioinformatics and clinical research informatics, which then includes all of these other disciplines. Well, that wraps up this video on the basics of informatics. If you wanna learn more, I'll leave some resources in the description of this video. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one.